Hi, in the uh, previous tutorial we looked at how to use a basic for loop um, and earlier on we looked at uh, earlier on in the tutorial series we looked at how to use arrays so in this tutorial we're going to use both of these coding concepts we're going to use um, an array and a for loop and um, we can easily use a for loop to loop through every element in an array so in this program that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to loop through every member of the Simpsons family and print each family member on a new line. So I've set up a new array here on line 9. So I've got the Simpsons array, so that's the name of my array, and then inside these square brackets is each element of the array separated with a comma. So I've got Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa and Maggie. So this is my array. On line 10, I've made a new variable called array length, and I'm going to use the length method on the array to find out what the actual length of the array is. So the number of elements in the array, which should be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this array length variable should be equal to five. Then on line 11, that's where my for loop starts. So I have four i equals 0 and then the condition i is less than array length so i is less than 5 and then i plus plus so it will in the counter i will increase by 1 for each iteration of the loop for each in iteration of the loop inside my loop I have this code here so it's going to write this message here which is basically Simpsons array i now that just translates to every single iteration of the loop it will display a different element from the array so it will start with 0 which is the first element and then in the next iteration it will be 1 which is March 2 which is Bart 3 which is Lisa and 4 which is Maggie okay so remember with arrays they have an index and the index starts from 0 so Homer is 0, Marge is 1, Bart is 2, Lisa is 3, and Maggie is 4. An array index always starts from 0 in JavaScript. So for every iteration of the loop, it's going to display on a new line every uh, member of the, or each member of the Simpsons family. So notice that it's got the break tag at the end. It's appended to the end of that um, this line here which means it will add a new line the next time so it basically where we've got Simpsons array i it's just showing the value or the element of that array that has been accessed in that iteration of the loop so in the first iteration it will be the first element i will be 0 in the second iteration of the loop i will be 1 so it will be Marge, the second element, and then Bart, and so on. So if we test this in Chrome, oops, launch in Chrome, there we go. So we've got Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie. Each one is on a different line. Okay, so that is how we use a for loop to loop through um, the elements in an array. We can do the same thing for a string. So in this example, I've got a word variable and the variable just contains a string and the message is just hello so it's just a bit of text that says hello okay and then I have another variable which is called word length and it uses the length method to find out the length of that string or how many characters are in that string okay which is one two three four five five letters so the length is five the for loop says for i equals zero i is less than word length so i is less than 5 and then i plus plus so i will increase by 1 in every iteration of the loop so in every iteration of the loop it will say document.write and it will display that word that's currently being accessed from the array so the first sorry it was display the letter from that string that is currently being accessed in um, from that string. So the first letter will be uh, H, so that will be 
have the index 0 from the string. Second one will be E, which will be 1. Third one will be L, which is 2. And then 3 and 4. So on each new line, it's going to display a different letter from that word in order. Okay, so let's have a look. We'll run that in Chrome. Okay, so we've got H-E-L-L-O, uh, -E each letter on a different line. All right, let's just go over that again. So we've got a word, which is stored as a string, and that string value is hello. We're storing the length of that word in a variable called word length, and the length is equal to five. And basically, while I is less than that word length, it will iterate, or it will, it will go through every single letter in that word and display each letter on a new line okay and that's happening here so every time the loop runs for each iteration it's saying document dot write word and then i and because i is increasing in each iter each iteration it will start with zero which is h and then the next iteration will be one which is e two which is l uh, three which is l and then four which is o and then it will Go back up to the top of the loop again and test the condition. While i is less than um, word length, and that test condition will then evaluate to false because on the last iteration of the loop, i will become five. It will be increased to five. So the condition will now be evaluated to false, and the loop will end. That is basically how to use a for loop to uh, loop through an array and pretty much the same method to loop through a uh, string of text. Okay, thanks for watching.